I'm Jamie Price, and I am more than a motorsport photographer. When I'm not chasing race cars, I photograph everything and anything. My passion for photography started on a slightly different racetrack than you would normally think of. Being a jockey for a number of years, I soon picked up a camera at races I was not competing in, and my passion for photography began. Steeplechase horse racing is intense in every single way. It's comparable to photographing a sports car sprint race, but arguably much more difficult. Just like any event or race, it helps to know the lay of the land and really go out and see the place for yourself. I spend the day before the race planning my shots, planning remote cameras, figuring out which jumps I want to use for the cameras, and walking the course to reacquaint myself with the lay of the land. In steeplechase racing, every single race is different. Different lengths, different jumps, different horses, and different jockeys. No two races the same. Why is it so intense? There's five races on the day. Race one through three are each two laps over jumps. Race four is three laps over jumps, and race five is a one lap sprint race. On race day, we arrive before sunrise to capture volunteers planting flowers and organizing tables, as well as talk to some of the trainers about how their horses are doing. This is a life I dearly miss. We are here. Queen's Cup number 23. It's a beautiful day. There's so much more to steeplechasing than horse racing. This is an amazing event celebrating spring. Hat contests, Jack Russell Terrier racing, and an electric atmosphere all needing to be captured. You can't fight cuteness. <laughs> After a morning documenting tailgate spreads and pretty hats, it's time for the real work to begin. I've carefully planned where I want to shoot. Unlike an endurance motorsport race, steeplechase racing happens fast and you only have a few chances to nail the shot. Covering a steeplechase race is challenging because they're so short. Photography sacrifices have to be made in a race course that's over a mile long with only two laps to shoot it. You can get a start shot and an action shot, but not necessarily a finish shot. It's extremely frustrating and you just can't be in two places at once.
is a sport I've been around since I was very young, and my family is still very much involved. Covering Queen's Cup means a lot to me and is an event I look forward to all year. This is where I began my photography career.